Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff. In today's video, we are talking laser safety. And that is because Xtool has sent me their newest Safety Pro accessories to go along with their lasers. And I'm actually really excited about these because I've been thinking more and more lately about craft room safety. And I think both of these accessories are going to help me create cleaner air within my space. Whether you are cutting or engraving, laser crafting causes a lot of dust and fumes, and if you've ever worked a laser, you definitely are aware of that sort of laser smell that comes with laser crafting. And then there is also what you don't see. You don't see harmful fumes from cutting things like acrylic, and you don't see all of the tiny particulates that are in the air when you are laser cutting. So in today's video, we are gonna be checking out these two new accessories. Over here, I have the Safety Pro AP2 air purifier, and then over here, I have the IF2 inline fan. If you've ever done laser crafting, you know that you need to vent your laser. Basically, you need to take all of the debris and particulates and fumes and all of that and get it out of your laser and into the filter or outside. And there are generally two ways to do this. The first is to basically put the end of the vent pipe from your laser out a window and just vent outside. The second way to do it is using something like an air purifier. But even with my old filter, I could really smell it. So very excited to check this out. Before I start talking about this guy, let me bring up my old filter so we can compare them a little bit. This is becoming a very crowded desk. So this is my original X-Tool filter. You can see that the new one is actually larger. I don't think you can see from the front that it is actually about two inches deeper as well. But within the larger system over here, they really have made a ton of improvements. And we'll take a look at those here in just a second. But I wanted to say that this filter here has a three-way filter system. So it has a pre-filter, it has a charcoal filter, and it has a HEPA filter. And it can remove about 80% of the small particulates and other odors and things that you might get. 80% is pretty good. But over here with the big guy, we can filter out 99.99% of dust, of VOCs, and then 97.97% of the odors. So this is a vast improvement over their older filter. One of the nice things about this is that it is on wheels, so I can roll it around here. Do not want to drop it off my desk, <laughs> my computer over here. Um, but to access the front filters, you actually just pull this little tab and it magnets this front piece off. And in here, you can see all of the different filters. So their old filter had three-way filtering. The AP2 has six-way filtering. And this is the main reason I need my computer because I want to be able to tell you what all of these are. So starting at the top, we have the Super Cyclone filter. And this is basically going to filter out 99% of those big dust particles and keep the rest of the filters from clogging. The nice thing about this filter is that it is washable, so you're not going to have to replace it all the time. Um, and you're not going to have to replace the other filters as often because it is removing so much of those big dust particles. Um, so you can just take this over to your sink, wash it out, and you can just replace it back in there, which I think is really great. The second one here is the pre-filter, and this is going to block out 90% of whatever makes it through that first filter. So if there are smaller dust particles, it's going to filter most of those out. Then we have the first HEPA filter. This is going to filter out 95% of of whatever has made it all the way through those first two filters. And then next we have two carbon layers. We have an activated carbon layer first and then a high density carbon mesh. And that is to more deal with the fumes and the odors and those sorts of things. The charcoal is basically going to absorb those things and that way they will not be in your craft room. And then finally we have the ultra HEPA filter and this is going to block 99.97% of whatever hasn't made it through those first five filters. And like I said, it's going to block 99.99% of dust and those harmful VOCs, and it's gonna block about 97.97% of the odor that comes from laser crafting. And then it doesn't stop there because this thing is also smart. So if you have one of their newer machines, so if you have the F1 Ultra, the M1 Ultra, the S1, and the PS2. Those are all Bluetooth enabled to work with this particular air purifier. That means when the machine is running, it will be working, and when the machine is not running, it will turn itself off. That's really nice that you don't have to do it manually. But if you have one of Xtool's older lasers, or if you have a laser from another brand, you can actually use this in manual mode. So if you're using maybe a Glowforge or something like that, and you want all of this filtering, as long as you can get the ducting to work, you can make it work. Depending on the size of the ducting of your laser, you are gonna probably need to buy something like this. 
this. So this is like a converter, so it takes it down from a three inch to a two inch. So if I'm using this with my X-Tool M1 Ultra, it has a two inch uh, ducting system on the back. So I would take the ducting that came with the AP2, I would put it in this side, and then I would have a two inch piece um, on this side to go into my M1. That converter piece actually comes with the AP2 because I think they're like, well, you can use it with one of our bigger machines or one of our smaller machines. But if you're coming from something larger like a Glowforge, which I think might be a four inch, maybe a five inch duct, you will have to go out and source your own converter. Another thing that makes it smart is if you are using it with one of those Bluetooth connected machines, it will know what you are cutting or engraving and it will adjust the airflow for that material. So for example, if you're cutting something that creates a lot of dust, so if you're cutting plywood or basswood or something like that, that really does create a lot of just particulates, it's going to speed up the airflow to get that out of the machine and into the filter. But if you're cutting something that doesn't have a lot of dust, but has a lot of VOCs, something like acrylic, it's going to actually slow it down. So it's not pulling everything out quite so quickly and it's filtering through much slower. So if you have those harmful VOCs going slower through those activated carbon layers, it's actually going to be able to pull out more of the VOCs than if it was being rushed through there. All right, a few more things before I move on to that inline fan. One of the cool things about this is that it also has a much higher lifespan than their older version. So Xtool would estimate that you would get between 10 and 40 hours of cutting before needing to change the pre-filter in their other version. You should get 100 to 600 hours out of this one before having to change that pre-filter. So that's the filter underneath the one that you can wash. That is a lot more cutting and engraving time and it means that you are paying a lot less to replace filters. So how much does it cost? Actually, I feel like it is incredibly reasonably priced. If you bought your X-Tool machine through the X-Tool website, you can get this for just $4.99, which to me was like a mind-blowingly low price compared to other filters on the market. If you bought your X-Tool somewhere else or you're using it with a different machine, you'll pay $6.99, which I still think is a really good price for this. Compare that to the floor model, which I think used to run for like $700. So you're basically getting so much more filtering capabilities for basically the same price or even less if you bought your machine on xtool.com. When you do need to get to the point where you are replacing filters, your xtool software will tell you so. So you don't have to make an educated guess about whether or not you need to replace your filter. It will tell you what percentage of the filter is dirty and when you need to replace it. The replacement filters are really not that expensive. They are all different prices because they are different types of filters. Um, that pre-filter is only $18 to replace. Very very reasonable. The most expensive of the filters is the activated carbon filter and that's $45. So these do not have to be replaced very often and I think they're really reasonably priced. So again, I think this is a really great buy. The second accessory that Xtool has come out with is the IF2 and this is an inline fan. So this is um, what you want to use if you are venting out of a window. So if you are using the big filter, it is using the fan within the machine and the fan within the filter to pull out all of that dust and debris and stuff. But if you don't have that, you only have maybe a small fan on the back of the machine pulling out things from, you know, pulling out all the dust. But using an inline fan can make that process so much better by basically pulling air through, pulling it out of your machine, and then you can vent it out of a window. Xtool did have a larger inline fan, but it was less powerful. So this is small and more powerful, which is awesome. It is also Bluetooth enabled, so it is designed to work with the S1, the uh, F1 Ultra, the M1 Ultra, and the PS2. Um, so if you have one of those machines, it will work automatically. It will turn on when it's needed and turn off when it's all done. You can, however, use it on other older X-Tool machines, or if you want to work with the ducting, you can use it on other non-X-Tool machines. One thing I do like about this is that it can be wall mounted. Um, if you have been dealing with ducting that you're like putting out the window and all of that, it can just get really I don't know, difficult to use. Um, so the fact that you can sort of control it by hanging this on the wall and having the ducting run off of it, um, that's just one little perk that I really like about this little guy. My favorite thing, however, is that it can be washed in a sink. So if you've ever cleaned out a laser fan using compressed air and Q-tips and lens wipes and all of that, you know that it's just really difficult to get a fan clean. But they've designed this so basically you can run water through it to clean out that fan and then it can air dry and you don't have to go to, through that process of cleaning with all of the little tools. So I really, really like that feature if you are venting out of a window and you need something like this. 
The IF2 will run you $199, although I saw it on sale on their site just today at $161, so always wait for x -Tool sales. I feel like you'll never have to pay full price for anything um, if you can just wait for one of their sales. So if you are venting out of a window, I definitely think this is a great option. So the question is, can you use these two together? And the answer is no, you really can't, you shouldn't. Um, I tried, it didn't actually work. Um, so this is really for venting out of a window, and the other, the air purifier is for venting in a room that doesn't have a window or if you don't want to use a window. I think the way that this works and the air purifier work, the airflow would actually kind of get messed up because you're basically shooting air into the filter and the filter is trying to modify how much air it's taking in based on your material and it really doesn't need all of that. So for me, I'm going to keep using that AP2 because I prefer to vent into a filter here in my craft room. I do have one laser, my big Glowforge, that I vent outside. It has a four or five inch vent pipe and so I'm gonna see if I can actually work that vent pipe to work with this. So I might put that on my Instagram account. If you want to go follow me over there, I do need to find some sort of converter to get that larger pipe size down to the smaller pipe size, but I do think that would help clear out the, the Glowforge's um, de dust and debris better than it's doing now, because right now it's kind of crappy, I'm not going to lie. All right, I went over and I got everything set up using the new air purifier. I'm really excited to test it out. I'm gonna test it out in sort of two ways. The first way is the smell test, because like I said, if you've ever lasered anything, you will know that it just smells like a laser. So I'm interested to see if I'm going to be able to smell it. The second test is going to be using my aware element, which actually take, tests the quality of the air in my craft studio. So it tests it on five different uh, variables here. We've got temperature, humidity, CO2, VOCs, and small particles. When I'm not using any of my machines, this number is almost always over 90. 100 is sort of a perfect score. Um, I've never actually reached 100 because they want it a lot warmer in here than I want, so my temperature number is always off. But generally, the air quality in here is pretty good unless I'm actively crafting, and that's why I got this little thing because I wanted to see just how bad things would get. So I'm going to test both the old filter as well as the new filter, and we'll see if anything changes. All right, so I cut and engraved a ornament using the old air purifier versus the new air purifier and actually made a huge difference. So first, the smell test. I have to say I could not smell any laser smell while it was cutting and engraving that ornament. I had my husband in here with me and we both were like, we could not smell anything, which to me, honestly, is amazing. The fact that it basically pulled all of those odors into the filter and like I was sold right away. We were like, yes, this is it. And then we watched the air quality monitor and with the new filter, that air quality stayed at a flat 92 the entire time. And then I test cut the same ornament using the old air purifier. And right away, we could both smell that laser smell in the craft room. So we were like, okay, clearly there is a difference between the AP2 and the old air purifier. And honestly, I didn't think that the air quality monitor was going to change because it stayed at a flat 91 basically through the entire cut. It even bumped up to 80, or 92 at one point. I was like, well, this is not going to work. And then right at the end of the cut, it went do 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 and went down to, I think, 86 or 84. Um, and I was kind of surprised. It took that full kind of five minutes for everything to work its way over to the, to the air quality monitor. But once it was there, it definitely knew that there was particulates and other things in the air that we probably shouldn't be breathing in. So this seems like a silly question to ask, but would I recommend the AP2 air purifier? Heck yes, I would. It is awesome. I love it. Um, yes, it is a little bit big. That would be my only downside. I mean, it's kind of heavy. It is on wheels, so it is easy to move around on the floor um, and it looks really good, but it is quite large. So other than the size though, I love basically everything about this filter. I love that I could cut and engrave a project and not smell it in here. That's amazing. I love the fact that it has so many filters, the first one of which is washable. Um, that is just amazing to me because I don't wanna go buy filters all the time. I already have to do that for the one that I have. Um, and now I don't have to do that anymore. So yes, definitely recommend the air purifier. For the inline fan, I haven't tested it just because I don't really have the the ability to vent outside with that size pipe and everything. However, I do think it's probably a good buy if you are venting out of a window. Um, if you vent it out of a window, you'll know that a lot of times you can get that laser smell, and I think this will just help drag all of those that dust, debris, fumes, everything out and outside versus having them sort of circulate within your craft space. And that's it. That is my review of the X-Tool Safety Pro AP2 and the IF2. If you have any questions about these uh, accessories, I would be happy to answer those down in the comments. If you found this video helpful in your buying decisions, give it a like. Follow my channel for more laser content. I'll see you next time.